The Alice Stewart Show is on the air and on your radio right now. Here's more from Alice on 96.5 The Voice. Let freedom Welcome back to the Alice Stewart Show, 734 on a nice Friday morning. And tomorrow is a big day for Republicans running for office here in the state. The Arkansas Federation of Young Republicans are hosting a 2014 primary debate. And candidates who are running in four different races will be debating uh, the issues. That includes those who are running for governor, uh, in congressional races in the 2nd and 4th District, as well as two candidates in the Attorney General's race. And joining me now is Tommy Mull. He is a candidate running in the 4th District. He is running against Representative Bruce Westerman. Tommy, good morning. Good morning, Alice. Thank you for having me on the show. Well, I'm so glad you could join us. I I appreciate your time. I know you're uh, studying up for the debate. I want to ask you first off, the the news this week, big news, the first quarter filings of the... uh, campaign uh, fundraising came out. You had uh, quite an impressive quarter. You uh, announced that uh, $392,000 cash on hand, a tremendous amount of cash on hand. This past quarter, you raised $115,000. You're feeling, obviously, you have to feel pretty good about those numbers. Well, Alice, we are delighted with how fundraising is going, but I'll tell you that's just one piece of a much larger strategy. And our strategy up until this point has been to cover the whole 4th District. We've been to all 33 out of 33 counties and have a good base in in each and a growing list of volunteers who are ready to help us get the word out as we approach the primary on May 20th. And clearly that is key in in terms of of campaigning, getting out there, that grassroots, uh, meeting the people, talking with them face-to-face. And what are the people in in your district telling you? What are their concerns in terms of what are they looking to you to do uh, if elected to go to Washington? By far the number one issue is Obamacare. And there's a reason. It's because now that this awful law has been rolled out, uh, folks are more ready than ever to figure out a way to repeal it, and that's my top priority when I go to Washington. And, and as you uh, go out and you speak with the people and visit with them, 4th District is a big district, uh, a lot of territory to cover there. What have you learned more than anything uh, as you've been out campaigning? Well, you're right. It is a lot of territory. We cover everything from up in the northwest part of the state around Huntsville all the way down to Texarkana, all the way east to cross it, and then back through Hot Springs and other parts in central Arkansas. And what I can tell you is despite there being 33 counties, three area codes, and two mountain ranges across this territory, folks are pretty much on the same page about the challenges that we face. And this is a primarily rural district. And the policies of Obama have hurt, especially here in rural Arkansas. And I'll just use Obamacare as another example. doesn't matter where we are. That's the top issue for folks in figuring out how to repeal that law is, uh, is what we spend a lot of time talking about, and that'll be my top priority in Washington. Yeah, it clearly is a, a big issue in a lot of these congressional races and certainly the, that U.S. Senate race. I want to ask you this. The Paul Ryan budget plan uh, came out and recently sought approval. One of the key components of that, clearly a lot of cuts, making uh, smart spending cuts there in Washington, which is critical, but also uh, balanced budget is, was one important component of that. Where do you stand on that in, the, in regard to balancing the budget and how important is that a, as a nation? Alice, I'm, I, I'm really glad you asked the question uh, because this is one of those things where we've gotten away from where we came from in the United States. Of course we should balance our budget. Of course we should live within our means. And it's hard for me to understand why that's a controversial idea in our politics today, but you will never see a balanced budget from the White House. You will never see a balanced budget from many of the leaders of President Obama's party in Washington. But where I stand is with the common sense values that we were all raised with, which is you can't live beyond your means if you're a family, 
our country can't do that either, and absolutely we should balance our budget. Well, and that's an important uh, talking point or an important issue to raise. The people of Arkansas, the people of the 4th District, people of this country, balance their checkbook. They have to make ends meet. They have to live within their means. The state, uh, even the state of Arkansas, has to balance the budget. Why is it that Washington, D.C. doesn't seem to understand that? Well, I think part of the problem is there are folks up there who just think that it's an endless pot of gold and that they can just reach in and pull out some more gold and and spread it around. Um, And the way they're doing that is by borrowing money, borrowing money that we don't have that will have to be paid back by future generations. And, it, you know, it, the, the cruel part of it is what President Obama offers to the rising generation is, hey, you may not have a job when you leave college, and you may have student loans and a big piece of the national debt that we're just growing while you're in school, but you can stay on your parents' insurance plan until you're 26. That's basically the message that this administration, this president, has to the rising generation, and it's really unfortunate. Right. That's little, very little long-term comfort and satisfaction for, A, these young kids, and certainly their parents who are concerned about what's going to happen with their their kids down the road. Uh, Tomorrow's the big uh, Arkansas Young Republican debate, and the candidates will be squaring off. It's a, uh, I think debates are important to, to show people uh, – the candidates, uh, mano a mano, on the issues, uh, discussing uh, where their priorities are. You will be facing off against your uh, primary challenger, Bruce Westerman, state representative. How do you? How would you contrast your experience uh, with his as a state representative? Well, my background has been in business and economics, not politics. I've never run for public office before, and what I bring to the table here is a common sense businessman's approach to solving problems that our state and our country face. For example, on the balanced budget, of course a family needs to balance their budget. Of course, when you're in business, you track every dollar that you spend and you don't spend more than you have. And we just need to have some some plain spoken folks up in Washington to drive these points home and get us back on the right track. All right, we look forward to, to hearing you debate the issues and talk about uh, what is on the minds of people in the, the 4th District tomorrow morning. Uh, Tommy Mull, candidate for 4th District. Tommy, thank you for your time. Alice, thanks for having me on. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Thank you. All right, and once again, that debate tomorrow morning starting at 9 o'clock, from 9 to about 1 o'clock. You can listen to it right here live on 965 and also streaming live on 965 The Voice All the debates live right here tomorrow morning starting at 9 o'clock. So make sure you tune in uh, and listen to the candidates uh, debate the issues. We're going to take a break. Coming up next, Republican candidate for Attorney General Leslie Rutledge will join us. Coming up, this segment of the Alice Stewart Show was brought to you by Errol Plumbing. For all of your household or business plumbing needs, call Errol Plumbing at 1-866-PLUMBER or schedule an appointment online at errolplumbing.net. The Alice Stewart Show on 96.5 The Voice. 